Today is July 8th, 2023, and we're in Tirana, Albania, but we are about to go for the first time to Duras. I hope I'm saying it right. It's a beach town. It's the second largest city in Albania. It's about an hour away. We're gonna be taking the bus. We're sleepy, aren't we? We are, and hungover. Yeah, but we're gonna have a good day today, and we're finally, finally gonna go get some water out of this city heat. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So we stayed in Hostel Albania, mm -hmm. here in Tirana. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? I like it. It was clean in general and cozy. People were nice. Just one thing that was the problem, which is the internet. Internet was not really good. Other than that, it was cool. Yeah, so for the past about five days, we've been sleeping in these tents here in Hostel Albania. This is the rooftop section here. It's a nice hostel. It's on the cleaner end. They don't have amenities like a TV. It's meant to be more communal. The tents get very hot. So if you stay in Hostel Albania, I would suggest staying in the rooms instead because these tents can burn up during the day and the Wi-Fi is not that good. It's about $25 a night. Right now I'm traveling the world and I only have two pairs of shoes. Growing up I had closets full of shoes and used to collect them. But as I've grown I realized I don't need all those material possessions to be the fly big dog I am. Now these J's I'm wearing here I bought for $350 in Belgrade a few years ago. And I kind of regretted it when I got it. But I've done incredible things in these shoes. Seven different countries in these shoes. Three different continents in these shoes. Height, mountains, and valleys in these shoes. If these shoes wrote a book it would be a bestseller hands down packed up ready to roll ready to hit this road let's go okay welcome to hostel albania this is what it looks like front desk beers for sale different events on different nights pause if you want to learn free walking tours if enough people sign up pause if you want to learn Hallway with beautiful girls. This is the hottest one, I picked her up. <laughs> Books in German, English, and Albanian. Hamper. Kitchen. Bathrooms. Uh, aside from the owner being a bit of an oddball and the tents being hot upstairs, I would give this place maybe an eight. It's cool if you're into hostel life. And plus not a bad view from the top. Gee, I'm ready, let's go, yeah. Acti is my wife, my best friend, and the best backpacking partner I could ever ask for. I wouldn't want to travel the world with anybody else. Why don't you write about dogs? Do you hate dogs? Challenge to myself. How long can I go without sweating? Let's see. It's early in the morning, maybe about 25 degrees right now. I should be okay. It's raining, man. Look at her carrying that bag with that big booty. It's like the bag just sit on the booty. You know, I always wanted to backpack across Europe and do this sort of stuff. I imagine that this is what it would be like, but who knew that it would be so damn hard? I promise I'm gonna stop playing and start playing. Walking through the neighborhoods of Tirana. Can I pronounce that? No. Selling produce, selling vegetables, flowers, vegetables, tomatoes, potatoes, melons. That's what we selling, yeah. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. Did I fail my sweat challenge? You remind me of my Jeep, I wanna ride it. Nah, it's paprika. Once again, made it to the bus stop. Not sure if we're at the right place. My plan is taking care of the plans, talking to the local people, trying to find out. Okay, she's telling me we gotta switch sides and go to the other side of the street because we're heading down that way. I hope it is. Tell 12, oink, oink. Yeah, we in Albania. The walk doesn't stop. We just keep walking and marching on and marching on. Once again, chatting up the local people, trying to find some directions. We are on the street Ruga Mina Peza and mm -hmm. we're taking the bus to Dogana, which is where the bus to Duras take off. She's my manager. Keep it bussing, baby. Keep it bussing. Is you ready for me? Is you coming for me? Let's go, let's go. She didn't do it, but I'll do it. Ticket, 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 ticket. How much were the ticket tickets? 40 like per person. Sitting on the bus, perfectly dry. Not a drop of sweat on me. Yes, Lord. Did we make it? Yeah. Drop your water, baby. I know. 
Is this where you get them ticket, ticket, tickets? All right, this is the bus station here in Tirana, Albania. Look at that one. It's gonna hit us. Made it to the promised land or the promised bus. <laughs> They're trying to rush me on the bus. Let's go. Oh, it's packed in here. Very packed. All this red. So whoop. Keep your face in a good book, <laughs> not on Facebook. On the road now. Bye bye, Tirana. Peace. Big bands for the bus man. Big bands. Oh, God. Yeah. Racks in the middle. All right, so how much was it to ride the bus? For one person, it's 180 lightning. That's a cool build. Missed it, though. All right, here is. We are? One hour later and a nice nap. Made it to the city. Let's hop off this one. Trying to get a taxi. We're trying to figure out how to get this taxi. But I think we're lost in translation. This is the bus stop. Made it here in Duras. I put in the taxi, thousand left to get to the house. I had to pee like a racehorse. I went into this cafe, this guy's like, it's not a public bathroom. So then I tried to pay, and they don't take card. So, I got a free pee. <laughs> Just made it to the city, and this is what it looks like. Nice, sunny, very hot, feels like 35 degrees. Being in this small Mediterranean coastal town reminded me of being in Hamamet, Tunisia, or Sousse in Tunisia. Just had that vibe. See you at the crossroads. Taxi man got to call up the house owner. Got to find him. Got to get him out. Oh, I don't think that's a good conversation. Oh, she talking some shit to him. See, it's hard to get good directions. Yeah, yeah get out the car. Yeah, we slam. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm here. Oh, he stepped out the car. He had to go curse at that bitch. He said, bitch, I have to take a walk to talk to you. <laughs> he said, let me get out this car before I hurt somebody. Don't do it to him, baby. Okay, back on the road again. We're rolling. <laughs> Don't fight that man for that bag. Let him help you. Boom <laughs> Hi. Ciao. Yeah, this me. Hi. How are you? And hey, this is a beautiful home. Yes, Lord. It's this way. Okay. Let's go. Even though 90% of the bookings that we make are under my name, most of the time the hosts don't talk to me. I assume partially they want to talk to Acti because she seems nicer, plus also she's white, and maybe white people feel more comfortable talking to white people. Either way, this lady was so hilarious because we have no idea what she was saying. She continued to speak to us in her language, and we don't know if it's Italian or Albanian. The stairs is always the final boss on moving day. The last one you gotta beat. Always. Strong? Is you strong? Oh, look at that view. But these stairs. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. Okay. Don't put it on put it on the chair. Can you help me take this off? Okay. Caduto. Ah, okay. Two persons. Eh, two persons, non c'è. Okay. So, uh, we can do it. It's okay. He's okay? Yes. He's alright. But I put it to go. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was beautiful. Simone. Yeah. Cinque giorni, cambiare, lavare le stile, uh -huh. e poi cambiare le tuola. Cinque giorni. Cinque giorni. Cinque eh, giorni. Scrivi un, una signora, tratta per, mi ricordo, okay. questa. Eh, cinque giorni io ho venuto qua per cambiare questo, questo e lavare lavatrice vestire. Ah, capito? Uh, with washing? Sì. 
Was... Cambiare sul gamano, cambiare questo e questo la, vale la matrice. Ah, okay. Cinque giorni io sì. eh, registrare e vieni qua per cambiare. Eh? Okay. Okay. Jordi. So you put like, the sì, here. Tipe Jordi. Tipe. Five euros to one. Ah, okay. Cambiare tutti, lavare la matrice e portare vestire qua. Okay. Wait, do we wash here? Uh, no, we just take it to her. Okay. Look at that balloon. Portare vestire qua. E poi, poi se qui si dovrà prendere giù, lavare e questa tua, privata. Okay. 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 Per stasera così, private, questa altra, altra, altra. Okay. Capito? Portare sì. qui è venuto dopo, per mezz'ora, un'ora, dieci minuti, viene in signora per prendere il cestino e la lavatrice. Okay, I, okay. Arti, portare vestire tutti adesso. Vestire. Tutti, tutti. Vestire. Tutti, tutti qui. <laughs> okay, tutti. Tutti. Okay, d'accordo. Okay. 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 Vestire. Vestire qui, tutti. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you in Italian, I forgot. Uh, questo privato, tavola, questo e così è te. Okay. Mm. Famiglia, altra turistica e altra. Ok. Mi sono okay. piatti? Yes. Grazie. Grazie. Yes. Ci vediamo dopo. Portare vestire e portare il cestino qua. Ok. Venuto signora e portare giù la lavatrice. Lavare e portare qui. Ok. Mi sono okay? Yes. Ciao, thank you. Grazie. I don't know how to feel. That Albanian landlord trying to smash my wife. I might have to smack her. Yeah. Who, 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 what you doing? Italian. I don't give a fuck, man. She, yay. Yeah. Who she trying to get? That's my woman. That's my woman. No, I think she said something like, you are a woman, I am a woman. You understand? When she was trying to explain the washing. Nah, it's too freaky. Thing. Nah, it's too freaky. How is it? She's uh, rubbing on your booty, kissing on your hands. Ain't none of that going down. Come on now. Okay. 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 Dopo. 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 Okay. Dopo. 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 Ciao, 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 grazie. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, Così, a destra, strada, cendra, cendra, color, eh, così, gelber, gelber, cendra, eh, eh, yellow, sì, brava, una strada e vai spi, beach, ah, okay. una strada così macchina okay. e, vai, eh, e vai beach, okay. Okay. che bello beach, che bello che beach, bello beach. Bello, bello. tutti persone, Acqua buono. Acqua buono. Una lungo mare. Una lungo mare. Che bello. E eh, Simone, eh, buon viaggio. Buon viaggio. Okay. Oh, buon viaggio. <laughs> okay. Buon viaggio. Tranquillo, okay. vai, eh, vai, portare vestire e vai. Okay. Dopo lavare e portare Fatima qua. Sì. Ok. okay. Hey, so she just keeps speaking Italian or Albanian or the mix of both. I don't know, but she is going hard and I kind of like it. I respect it. She's just like, I don't care if you understand, you going to listen. I was telling her like, we're going to go to the ATM and we're going to take out the money. And she said like, tranquil, 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 tranquil. Yeah. And that's why I like her. Because she likes you a lot. Well, I like her too. She's nice. She's cute. All right, don't get it. Don't get it.
Don't do it. I ain't got to make a speech. I'm taking my baby to the beach. Yeah. Jump in that water. This is Doris, or at least where we are in Doris. Quiet neighborhood. Little houses, apartments, villas. It's nice. Very hot day. It's like 37 degrees. Broken glass everywhere. Choo choo. Beep beep. All right, I think we're getting closer to the city center closer to where all the action is because now there's a lot more traffic, a lot more stores, and a lot more hot girls. Hey, 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 let me get your number. Yeah, this has got to be the city center. This is definitely where it is because now we have this big main street and uh, a lot of people out here, even on this Saturday. So looks nice. Looks like a cool place. I'm happy to see a lot more restaurants here in Duras. I am not seeing a shortage of food places. I'm just not sure if they're pizza places, but let's find that out. Maybe I should worry less about restaurants and just become a fruitarian. The famous Germany Hotel right here. And for more of the same. Hey, let it not be a game. You know where I'm at. You see it right behind you. I'm outside with it. Can't pronounce it, but I'm outside with it. Yeah, every day. The more famous hotel on Antalya. Got a lot of shops. Get your float on, get your roll on, get something cute before you head to the wild over here. Let's go. And this is how it is in Duras. Rows and rows and rows of umbrellas. A lot of people outside. It looks kind of clean. I haven't seen the water yet. Okay. Yo, I'm gonna just walk through these umbrellas. Let's see. All right, not trying to bother nobody. Let's see what happens. Let's make it to the front. Let's make it. Okay. I just walk through. And we made it. Okay, it's kind of packed. Kind of busy. Kind of busy. A lot of people outside though. Very busy. Okay. Got a long coastline. It just keeps going down and down this way. A lot of people here. I would say maybe a thousand. I'm pretty sure we're here at the most popular time because this is the middle of July and it's popping, it's lit. Water looks uh, brown-ish, but I'm sure it's clean. A lot of people out there. Everybody's just lounging and relaxing. Sun's not shining too bright, it's not burning. Good weather, good breeze. Okay, Doris, good job. Let, let the water hit my feet for the first time. Okay, it's not that cold, it's actually pretty warm. Okay, I like that. I like that, that's not cold. Walking on the beach here in Duras. That's what it's like. A lot of young people out. Don't know if they're foreigners or not. You tell me. I wonder what this means. Forbidden to be played with a ball. These English translations are very funny. <laughs> Selling corn. Corn is popular around the world. Can't go wrong with corn. The hijabis at the beach. The Islamic Republic of Albania. <laughs> But this kid is playing with the ball. He don't care. He's ready to fight the police. All right. Excuse me, sir. Looks nice. Very crowded and packed. Even this early in the morning. Wondering what's gonna happen later. Some trash right here. Good mix of the crowds, not all guys, not all girls. When I was in the beach in Africa, it was like a sausage fest. Wow. Anyway, it's so packed, we're a bit nervous about where to put our stuff. So we're just walking through the beach trying to find a good place to uh, sit and set up. All right, so we just found these blue chairs on the beach under this umbrella right in front of the water. So I think we're gonna try to just sit here and see if anybody comes and says, hey, where's your key for the hotel? Or do you have a reservation? I don't know. Let's see what happens. God damn it, lady. It's too crowded for this. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I just jumped out the water. It's not too cold, not too warm. It's like right in the middle. Your body adjusts very well. It's very nice. I'm gonna get back in. So my phone died while I was at the beach and I couldn't get any more footage, but two interesting things happened while we were out. And I wanna talk about it before I wrap up this video about what it's like traveling from Tirana to Duras in Albania. So after going for a dip in the water and chilling, reading my book on the beach, enjoying the beautiful view and the atmosphere of the beach here in Duras, I decided to go for a nice stroll along the coast with my beautiful wife holding hands. And then we make it to this pier that's there, this long pier that has like a blue strip down the middle. As we're walking down this pier, there's this girl, this young Albanian girl, like maybe 25 years old or something. And she has her phone held vertical and she's recording me and my wife as we're walking. And I know that she's recording us because she has it pointed directly at me and it's turning as we're walking, right? So you can't miss something like that. Now it is, possible, hypothetically, that she recognized this handsome man and that beautiful woman that I was holding hands with because I am a somewhat semi-famous YouTuber now and my videos are gaining traction. The channel is going up. I am getting subscribers and comments from a lot of Albanians who are watching this content. So possibly she could have recognized me from YouTube. But I highly doubt that because honestly, I'm not that famous. I'm not that important. I'm nobody special, honestly. And when I'm walking down the street, I expect to be treated and viewed just like anybody else to be able to hold hands with the woman I love and not let it be a spectacle. I stop right in front of the girl as she's holding her camera and say, do you need another picture or another video up close or something else? My wife also got hot at her and gave her the middle finger. And then she got all shy and, and quiet and turned away all nervous. That's wrong. What that girl did was wrong. Yes, when you're out and about in public, people, people watch, people say things about other people that might be rude or crude. Hell, I know I do it. Whenever I see somebody who's extra peculiar in their ways, you know, I will say a comment to my wife about it, but I don't pull out my phone and try to record them and embarrass them or try to use that, especially if the person is just of a different race or a different ethnicity. It doesn't matter if somebody's a different color there. It shouldn't matter. People, especially black people, should be able to walk freely in the streets and not have our presence be something that is a spectacle, period. Another thing that happened today, as we were leaving the beach, we had to stop by the grocery store. And as we were passing one of the cafes that were next to the grocery store that we were going to, I hear some teenagers say, what's up, nigga? Oh God, you know what's about to happen. So I wanna to apologize to my audience for being late on making the N-word video. I know I need to do it. Nobody remind me, please. But I'll say it again until the day I die. People should not be using the N-word to refer to black people, period, period, period. And stupid people in my comments who are going to try to defend this young person for calling me the N-word and say that he didn't mean it in offense wait and hear what happens next. So my wife goes into the grocery store and I tell her, give me a minute, cause I'm a man and I can handle my own business. I go back to that cafe that's right next to the uh, grocery store as she walks inside and I approach the young man and I say, I'm sorry, did you try to get my attention? And he said, no, oh, oh no, no. All nervous looking at the ground, oh no. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say nigga? And he said, oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. No, no. Uh, did you hear anybody else say it? Uh, uh, no, no, no. It was very loud. I'm not making this up. Somebody said it to me. I literally heard somebody say, what's up, nigga? But then when I approach the person, they get all silent. Proving, proving my point. Albanians know that this word is offensive. They know it's wrong to say. They know that it's not the right thing to say. Because if it wasn't offensive, if it wasn't something that was supposed to be meant hurtfully, how come when a black person approaches them and asks them, did you say it? Now they become all, all, all stupid and silent. So all you stop saying this shit.
it's offensive, it's wrong, don't say it. <laughs> anyway, I do this to let other black travelers know. Other people might say, why are you traveling places where they are obviously disrespectful, hateful, and racist, or ignorant and stupid? I do this so that other black people won't have to go through this. And also to educate people about white supremacy, anti-blackness, what's right and what's wrong. Listen, anybody can continue to say what they wanna say about other people. You can continue to be racist, but I can continue to bite back and speak up with my voice. So I think I just have to admit now, anytime I go to a new Albanian city, I'm gonna be called a racial slur. That's just a part of the game. I come to a new Albanian city and I expect it now. I almost expect it now to be called the N-word. <laughs> it's too funny, it's too funny. Albania is fucking crazy. Anyway, that's it. That's what it's like traveling from Tirana, Albania to Dures, Albania, the second biggest city, large coastal city. Looking forward to exploring more, going more to that beautiful beach, lounging, relaxing, and working on my tan. <laughs> Stay tuned. Peace.